thousand people have been put out of Stone Mountain Mine housing. And some of you have seen fit to take along certain items of food, furniture, and clothing that don't belong to you but belong to the company. As of the day of the strike, your scrip ceased to be legal tender, meaning that any item of food, clothing, and furniture not paid for in cash money must be turned over to me and my deputy. And I suggest that you all cooperate. See, my boys, they didn't get much sleep last night, so they're kind of jumpy. Besides, we got the law on our side. Mm -hmm. Now, you got a list of goods. Don't need one. How are you going to know what belongs to the company and what don't? He's the red hickey. He's the agitator. Everybody, you see, I don't got a gun on me. What good do you think that's going to do you, Red? You shoot me, folks will know it was murder. Well, that's some cold comfort. Now, you listen to me, Red. He was hunting. You folks are making an awful lot of commotion. You scared all the game away. This your machine? Scared it last night, too. It's an offense to the ear. Hold it, Pops. You're talking to the law here. He ask you anything. Where'd you get that thing, pal? The Spanish War? No. Nope. War between the states. When you all get in this machine and get back into town where you belong, ain't but one law out here, and that's a law of nature. Let's get the hell out of here. Folks try and keep the noise down, you do fine. Help yourself to the bird and the rabbit. If you see any hogs, they's probably ours. We'd appreciate it if you'd leave them be. Good day to you. <laughs> 